Megan, good job taking care of that half-dead, folks. <laughs> Jeff, how could you say that about your mom and dad? I was just complimenting you, wasn't I? Jeez. I don't know why you bother taking care of them. They're gonna die soon either way anyway. You're unbelievable, Jeff. Take that back. They're your parents. And you should be the one taking care of them. Why is it me all the time? Whatever. I can say what I want. They're my folks anyway. Sadly, that part I can't control. How can you say something like that to the people who raised you? They took care of you and raised you for their entire lives. How about you return the favor and take care of them? Raising me wasn't a favor. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's what every parent is meant to do anyway. I never asked them to give birth to me or raise me. You really are ungrateful, aren't you? Have you never thought about how they'd feel about you saying this about them? Nah, they're both happy as long as I'm alive and doing well. Just between you and me, I am perfectly happy leaving them to die. I'm sure they'd really appreciate it even if you just came to talk to them. They might not have much time left. I'm sure they wouldn't want their own son to take care of them anyway. It would be embarrassing for them. Why do you think like that? There's nothing wrong with you going to take care of them. It's also impossible for me to take care of them, unfortunately. Impossible? What do you mean by that? Old people stink, right? They have this old people stench, man, and I don't even want to be in the same building as them. Oh, just thinking about that stench disgusts me. I'm not going anywhere near them. You really are the worst human being, Jeff. So what, I take it that you're not coming home till the morning again then? Yep, I'm gonna stay the night somewhere else. I want to get a good night's sleep, man. Would you please come home and help me out at least once? I am getting overwhelmed with all the housework as well as taking care of both your mom and dad. Oh, stop complaining. You don't even work. You should have all the time in the world for all of that. The reason why I don't work is because you asked me to quit my job to look after your parents. Yeah, so what? It still doesn't change the fact that you don't work right now. You should be the one taking care of them and doing all the housework. I don't understand why you're asking me for help at all when I'm busy with actual important stuff to do. I don't get any days off at all. Taking care of elderly people is a lot of work. You have no idea. I have to wake up multiple times a night to change their diapers too. Don't bother waking up at night to change them then. Just leave it till the morning. That's the whole point of them wearing their stupid diapers anyway. I can't just leave them wearing diapers when they need changing. Whatever they say, they're basically worthless now. Just hit them in the head a couple of times and make them pass out. That's the best way to make them shut up. Oh my god, I can't believe you just said that. There is no way I would ever do something like that. I'm not like you. We don't have any children either, mind you. So complaining about how busy you are means crap to me. We don't have children because you didn't want any. I did. Well, tell you what, this situation right here is pretty much the same as raising kids. You would have had to change their diapers too, right? <laughs> you can take care of my folks instead of babies now. Look at that. That is completely different. Stop trying to make me do everything by myself. If we did have babies, I would have expected you to help out in raising them. You're starting to really get on my nerves now. You're not being very efficient by whining, you know? Stop blaming me just because you're so incompetent. Stop depending on me for everything. I am really trying my best, you know. I wish you'd show even the slightest bit of compassion. I'm really at my limits. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Would you please let me take at least a few days off? Aw, oh, stop acting like such a victim. I know that you're just acting. It is so pathetic. Megan, you literally have the easiest life. You don't work. What are you trying to say to me, Jeff? I bet that you're actually really glad that you got to quit your job. How did you end up coming to a conclusion like that? I actually preferred it a lot more when I was working. 
I really don't enjoy my life right now. Working is a lot more fun than what I do here for you and your mom and dad. So you're trying to suggest that I'm having the time of my life at work? Stop twisting my words like that. I never said that at all. I'm grateful that you're working hard and earning money for us. I just wish you'd help me out from time to time. We should be supporting each other. My work is difficult enough as it is. I don't need the extra workload of helping you take care of my elderly parents. I still think it's wrong that I'm the only one caring for them. They're not my parents. I already told you that that's out of the question. I'm not going to waste my time taking care of those old hags. Just leave them be if you're going to complain so much about it. If things don't change soon, I'm probably going to break down and end up in the hospital. Then there's going to be no one left to look after your parents. Even if that were to happen, I'm still not going to take care of them. I would just leave them alone so that they can finally disappear. There's no point in them staying alive any longer. Stop saying disgusting things like that and take some responsibility. You should take them to a care home or hire a home nurse to take care of them. Nope, never going to happen. It would just be a huge waste of money. You don't have to pay for it. Your dad is offering to pay for it all. They feel bad that I have to take care of them all the time, you know. I am still not going to allow that. It's a waste of my money that I'm going to inherit in the future. Oh my god. You vile human being. Is that all you care about? Oh, I just thought of an amazing idea. Go and get the money from them and give it to me. What? There's no way I'm doing that. I know you're up to no good. They will never realize what happened. Their brains are barely functioning these days anyway, right? That's it. I really can't stand this anymore. You better not be planning to run away. You should be grateful that I married an ugly cow like you. The only reason I married you was that you could take care of me and my folks. That's all the use you have here. So you're saying you only married me because I was a caregiver? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why else did you think I married you? There's nothing else that would make anyone want to marry you. <laughs> Look at you. You're trash. So you don't love me? Uh, sorry, Megan. It was like pulling teeth proposing to someone that I had no feelings for. I thought I was going to throw up because you looked so gross that day. Oh wait, maybe I did. Oh my god, you told me it was because you were nervous and also had a little too much to drink. Well, that was a lie, of course. <laughs> you just put me off. Okay, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. Well, Want to get the divorce then? You know what? Yeah, I think that would be the best for the both of us, actually. Well, I think my folks won't be able to stay alive if you left now. They'll be fine if you took care of them in my place. One thing that I can say for sure is that I won't be going anywhere near them. If you want to divorce, they're going to die when you stop taking care of them. Are you really ready to abandon my poor folks like that? I am not going to abandon them. They've been so nice to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like you're going to have to stay with me then until they die naturally then. Don't worry though, they won't be around for that much longer. They'll be heading to heaven in no time. Once they're gone, you can leave me right away. Oh, I never thought that he was such a heartless and vile human being. My name is Megan and I'm 42 years old. I got married to my husband, Jeff, around three years ago. My mother-in-law, Alice, really struggled to get pregnant, so she was 40 when she finally was able to give birth to him. Now, Alice is 83, and my father-in-law, Pete, is 85. I lost both of my parents when I was younger, so they've been like my parents, and they've also been treating me like I'm their real daughter. I am so, so grateful for everything they've done for me. Unfortunately, Pete broke his hip bone two years ago, and he's been bedridden ever since. Alice did her best to take care of him, but she fell down the stairs and was injured one time, and she couldn't physically do it anymore. Both of them were unable to move without support, and that's why Jeff and I decided to move in with them to help them out around the house. They're so nice, and they're always both apologizing to me about how I have to help them out, but show a ton of appreciation too. 
They probably knew how Jeff was treating me too, since we live under the same roof. One day, while I was feeding them their lunch, they proposed something to me. Megan, I've decided that I'm going to move in with my girlfriend as of today. I'm going to leave my parents in your care, okay? Ah, oh, I am so excited. So, you finally decided to admit that you were cheating on me. Oh, so you knew about it then? You had no intention of hiding it at all. You guys always made out right in front of our house. You were always on the phone to her while I was busy taking care of your parents. Yeah, <laughs> it's true I wasn't trying to hide it. <laughs> I just thought that you'd be too naive or dumb to realize. I guess I underestimated you. <laughs> Stop making fun of me like that. Anyway, what do you mean by you're gonna go live with your girlfriend? When? Like, really? Today? How long have you known her for anyway? Uh, we've actually been dating for three years now. What? That's before we got married! Why didn't you just get married to her then? I never would have had to suffer this much if you just married her instead. I would have loved to marry her too. Uh, it's just that she's a huge germaphobe. And she told me that she didn't want to take care of my folks. She has better things to do. And I don't. And what, you're telling me that's why you had no choice but to marry me? That's exactly it. I only married you so that you could take care of them and do all the work for me. You were just a temporary solution. <laughs> you really are the worst. I hope you rot in hell. Anyway, what does this mean for us then? Oh, she is really young and she has such a nice body. She is so good in bed as well. Man, I cannot get enough of her. I don't want to hear about that at all. Oh, so now you're getting really jealous. <laughs> I'm not getting jealous. Just answer my question. Well, she suddenly started saying that she wants to live with me. So that means you're going to move in and live at her place, right? That's not possible because she lives in her own parents' house. So you guys are going to rent out an apartment together then? Like, I'm going to do that. Are you stupid or something? Then what are you planning to do? I bought a brand new house. Oh my god, are you serious? Yep, I got us a beautiful house which is like my dream house. It's perfect for a beautiful woman like my girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait to show her. How did you manage to save up that much? It must have been so expensive to get a house built in this area. Do you really think that I'm the kind of guy that's good at saving money? No, I think you're terrible at it. You're an impulsive buyer and you spend most of your money as soon as you get paid. I am not going to deny that. How do you think I was able to buy the house then? I don't know. Inheritance money? So, you can be a smart girl if you want to be. <laughs> you were just after their money this entire time, weren't you? You don't deserve a single cent of their money. Yeah, shut the hell up. I have every right to claim all of their money. I'm their son after all. They're both still alive, you know. You should have at least waited till they passed away. I couldn't wait to buy my new house, could I? And it doesn't matter because they're probably going to be gone soon. That's not necessarily true. Even though they're physically not as nimble as they used to be, they can still both think for themselves, you know? I read online that most bedridden elders die within a year anyway. That's a fact. <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything that you read online. Well then, maybe I should make sure that they're gone for sure. Don't you dare! They ran their own business, right, until they retired. They must have so much stashed away. Oh, I can't wait to see how much I'm going to get. <laughs> it's going to be at least $1.5 million. The money isn't going to arrive into your bank immediately. The process is going to take a while. What do you intend to do until that happens? Well, I already borrowed the money from the bank, of course. There's no way that a bank is going to lend you that kind of money. 
Did you go to some shady business to get that money? Who cares about where I borrowed the money from? I can just pay it all back as soon as I receive the inheritance money. Your parents are going to be very upset to hear this. Well, they won't have to find out about it. Why would they care about how I spend my money anyway? They're going to be dead pretty soon anyways. Don't say that. They're both healthy and alive. They don't deserve to go through all this pain. I hope that they both pass away at the same time. Then I'd be able to get all the money right away. I really don't understand how a devil like you is their son. You can call me what you want. I really don't give a damn. Nothing can hurt me now. My life is so perfect. I have no need for you now either. Just make sure you contact me when they die. I'll come over and pick up the inheritance money once that happens. Okay, that's enough. You can leave the rest to me. Oh, that's great. I didn't think that you would give up so easily. I guess I'll get ready to move out then. I realize that it's pointless talking to you. There is no point in us staying married now. Let's just get a divorce. So, you're planning to run away now? Are you really going to abandon my parents? You don't need to worry about that. I'm going to take care of them until the very end. I would never abandon them like you did. Well, I guess that works for me too then. I want to get married to my girlfriend as soon as possible. Okay, it's decided then. I'll fill in the divorce papers and hand them over to you. You make sure to sign it and turn them in so it's official. Yeah, that works for me. Nice. Let's get the divorce official then. Megan, what the hell is going on? Explain everything to me right now. What do you want, Jeff? Those two old hags should be dead by now. It's been like half a year. Why haven't they gone and why haven't you told me anything? There was nothing to contact you about. There is no way they're still alive. Don't you dare lie to me. Actually, I'm not lying at all. They're both doing really well recently, actually. What did you just say? They've both made a great recovery and can live without taking care of them now. Your mom is cooking right now, actually, and your dad has gone out for a walk. Like I am going to believe that. Quit lying to me and just hand over the inheritance money. Now. I am not lying. I can send you photos to prove it if you'd like. They were both bedridden for years. I never heard of people recovering from that kind of state. You just lack knowledge. It's possible for bedridden people to make a complete recovery like them. There is no way that they could have recovered by themselves. Uh, what did you do? You're the one behind this. I just did a lot of research about rehabilitation methods. They can't do anything by themselves. They were literally on the brink of death. Well, neither of them had any serious illnesses or injuries. Uh, well, that's true, but still. I found out that the two main reasons why elderly people become bedridden is a lack of confidence and the loss of muscle mass. So what? What does that have to do with this? I did some research and found some ways to help fix those two problems for them. My knowledge and experience from my old job helped as well. I started off by taking care of their mental health. I gave them both a pen and paper and told them to write down what they wanted to do before they died. You're an absolute demon. They can never do that. Actually, it's very important to have hope to live long. And they needed something to look forward to. None of their hopes are ever going to come true. You don't know that. Anything is possible. Anyway, I started to give them massages as well to loosen up their joints and muscles. I also gave them a list of stretches to do so that they could start moving their muscles around on their own. That's all just a waste of time. Nothing's going to improve. Actually... You're very wrong. I put on some happy music and we made sure to stretch and move every single day. It was actually so much fun. I also made sure to give them food that was very nutritious. Like that's going to fix anything. If that were possible, there would be no need for hospitals and doctors. You're wrong again. Some forms of rehabilitation can be done from home. 
They became more and more confident as they were able to start completing the basic tasks. These days, they've even more energy than me. I think it also helped that you completely disappeared. You were a huge toxin to their mental health. Oh, God damn it! Why did you have to ruin my plan like this? You should have just let them rot so that I could get my money. Oh yeah, I also taught them how to type on a phone as part of their rehab. They don't need to learn how to use a phone. What the hell are you doing? Just let them die. I was surprised by how quickly they managed to learn how to use a phone, actually. It seems like they want to talk to you now, actually, so I'm going to hand my phone over to them, okay? Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, don't do that. Who are you giving the phone to? Hey, it's been a while, Jeff. It's Alice, your mom. You old hag. I didn't think that you'd still be alive. I can't believe you're calling me that. We must have raised you very poorly. Now just hurry up and give up on your life already. What is the point of staying alive? What do you want from me? We both know that you've been after our inheritance for a while now. How do you know about that? Ah, Megan must have told you. Actually, it was very obvious that you were after our money. You're my son after all, I can read you like a book. So, what if I am after your money? We don't plan on giving you a single cent of our savings. I'm your only child. Once the two of you pass away, I'm the only person left that can inherit your money and belongings. Actually, you're not our only child. No way. I'm talking about Megan. Oh, well, I got a divorce from her already. She is no longer part of this family. We might not be related by blood, but she's definitely our child. We're much closer to her than we are with you. So what? It doesn't change the fact that she's not family. She doesn't have the right to inherit anything from you guys. That's why we decided to adopt her. We've already sent all the official documents. She's our daughter now. What have you guys done? Oh my god, this is crazy. She is now officially going to inherit our money and belongings from us as well. That's not fair on me at all. Why does she get a portion of your inheritance? I think you're misunderstanding something. What now? She's not receiving a portion of the inheritance. She's receiving everything from us. There's nothing left for you. You cannot be serious. What the hell is wrong with you? She must have brainwashed you or something during rehab. I am your only child. You need to give me that money. Oh, it's such a shame that you ended up like this. You were so cute and adorable when you were young. I have no idea where things went so wrong. I mean, look at you now. Who cares about that right now? We have more important matters to talk about. I guess we must have spoiled you. We wanted children for such a long time. We had given up so many times before you were finally born. Then spoil me even more. Give me all your damn money. It's too late for that. We've already completed all the paperwork so that Megan receives absolutely everything from us. Are you piece of trash? Go to hell already. How could you do such a thing to me? I am your only child. I don't get why you guys can do something so horrific. How can you say that after the way you treated us? You abandoned us and forced all your responsibilities onto Megan. You deserve absolutely nothing from us. No, 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 no. This isn't fair. Oh, no. Have you turned into a baby again? Make sure you don't poop. I haven't put a diaper on you this time. No, this is not happening. I need that money. You decided to betray her and degrade the very kind and sweet woman that married you. That is not something that we can forgive you for. You're no son of ours. God damn. Damn it! I should have just poisoned your food before things got messed up like this. It's just like Megan said. You really are a demon, aren't you? 
I freaking hate you. You're a monster. Why the hell are you even still alive? I have nothing left to say to you. Goodbye, Jeff. I'm gonna give the phone back to her. So yeah, that's what's happening now. You deserve this. Megan, please, I am begging you. Please convince them to change their minds. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do that. I won't be able to pay the loans for this house at this rate. You have a full-time job. You can just pay off the loan little by little. That is impossible with my salary. The house costed almost one million dollars. You paid that much for your new house? You absolute idiot. Oh, don't call me that. I thought I was going to receive at least $1.5 million from the inheritance. I thought I would have lots of money left over even after paying off the house. Well, it looks like you're just going to have to sell the house off then. No, I can't do that. My girlfriend loves this place. She's going to break up with me if I tell her that we're selling this place. <laughs> well, tough luck. You're going to have to sell it if you can't pay for it. Fine, how about this? You can give me some of the inheritance money once you get it. Why are you asking me that? It's useless trying to convince my idiot parents to change their minds. They're not going to give me the money no matter what I say. Well, if that's the case, then there's no point in asking me either. I have no intention of changing my mind. You're the only person left that I can depend on. You gotta help me. Nope. Also, you have some other financial problems that you should be worried about. It's not just the payments for your house. I'm suing you. You tried to ruin my life. You also threatened to end your parents' life. No way. You're joking, right? You know that I don't have any money. Of course I'm suing you. You deserve to be punished for what you did. Watching you suffer is going to be so satisfying for me. I was like that because I thought I would be getting a lot of inheritance money. I'm sorry, I, I didn't actually mean it. Also, why are you going to ask me for money? You're going to get all of my parents' money and the things anyway. Actually, I hope that they live for as long as possible. It doesn't seem like they're close to their end at all. They might even outlive me at this rate. <laughs> oh, please just help me out and give me some money. I told you that's not happening already. I'm begging you, please. I need the money to keep my girlfriend and my house. A person like you doesn't deserve help from anyone. Start treating other people with more kindness and respect if you want to be helped out. You only have yourself to blame for this. I am so sorry for everything I did to you. Please forgive me. I'll be more kind to you from now on. I promise. Jeff ended up having to sell the new house that he had bought. Unfortunately, he was only able to sell it for around 75% of the price he paid for it. He used that money to pay back the shady agent he borrowed his money from originally. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough as the agent charged him a ridiculous interest rate. He ended up having to use up all his savings as well to pay the man back. I also hired a lawyer and was able to sue him for 10 grand. He ended up having to work multiple part-time jobs to pay back the money he owed to me while finding a new place to live. His girlfriend also left him as soon as she found out that he wasn't the rich guy she thought he was. It sounds like she was only after him for his money, just like Jeff was. As for me, I'm currently living a very happy life with my new parents. One of the things they wrote down on the paper when I asked them during rehab was that they wanted me to become their daughter. I'm really glad that I managed to make one of their dreams come true. I'm planning to take them on a family vacation to the beach next week. I can't wait for it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and leave a comment. See you in the next one.